Atma course. Get smart. Get ahead. In this module, we are going to discuss in detail about risk management. and insurance planning. So within risk management and insurance planning, our first focus of discussion would be a risk management. So when you say what is risk management, before we define or try to discuss risk management, we'll have to know the word risk per se. The word risk is frequently used, especially in our uh, financial world. Risk is, I would say, a chance of not achieving the goal. Chance of not achieving the goal. So this can also be uh, interpreted as deviation from our target. Right? Any deviation from our target is also defined as risk. Now, <clears throat> when I say chance of not achieving the goal, it is because of few factors. So those factors can be segregated as peril and hazard. Most of us <clears throat> in this particular domain, we use the words peril and hazard interchangeably, but both have a thin line of difference. Peril is one factor that leads to risk. So it is one factor or one cause of loss. What would be the example for this? Uh, let's say earthquake right and the property got damaged because of earthquake earthquake can be called as a peril but what is hazard if peril is one cause or one factor what what is hazard hazard is a condition that increases the chance of loss. Let's say there's a cotton go down and there's a person, the guard who is just standing outside is unfortunately smoking. He's a hazard. The, it increases the condition of loss. There's a possible a possibility that the go down might, uh, the cotton might catch fire because of his negligence and that is typically known as a hazard. Now that we know the difference between peril and a hazard, within hazard we have certain categories. We have what is known as a physical hazard. Second, you have moral hazard and third, we have moral hazard. What is a physical hazard? Physical hazard is a typically a physical object that increases the probability of loss. It is straightforward. Any physical uh, uh, object, for example, if there is a, uh, let's take an example of an airline. Right? So bad weather increases the 
chance of a loss for an airline right so that's a physical example of a physical hazard what about moral hazard moral hazard is more to do with a person's characteristic uh, for example if somebody is dishonest in his dealings if somebody is not uh, being objective while he's talking right somebody being dishonest is a moral hazard so because of his dishonesty uh, it leads to a loss to him or people around him or the company so that is a moral hazard third what is moral hazard moral hazard is more to do with an individual's uh, individual's negligence because he is completely indifferent to both the outcomes he is just negligent enough to uh, neg- negligent enough not to act upon a particular task and hence it increases the risk of loss so there are three types of hazards one is physical hazard moral hazard moral hazard moral hazard is knowingly the person is dishonest moral hazard it is it occurs the situation occurs due to a person's negligence moving on now we know that peril and hazard lead to risk correct and we know that risk is chance of not achieving the goal or chance of deviation from our target now what is risk management then that is going to be our next set of discussion atma course get smart get ahead